Christians are people who follow or adhere to Christianity, a monotheistic Abrahamic religion based on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. The words Christ and Christian derive from the Koine Greek title Christos a translation of the biblical Hebrew term Mashiach usually rendered as Messiah in English. While there are diverse interpretations of Christianity which sometimes conflict, they are united in believing that Jesus has a unique significance. The term Christian used as an adjective is descriptive of anything associated with Christianity or Christian churches, or in a proverbial sense all that is noble, and good, and Christ-like. It does not have a meaning of of Christ or related or pertaining to Christ. According to a 2011 Pew Research Center survey, there were 2.2 billion Christians around the world in 2010, up from about 600 million in 1910. Today, about 37% of all Christians live in the Americas, about 26% live in Europe, 24% live in Sub-Saharan Africa, about 13% live in Asia and the Pacific, and 1% live in the Middle East and North Africa. Christians make up the majority of the population in 158 countries and territories. 280 million Christians live as a minority. About half of all Christians worldwide are Catholic, while more than a third are Protestant, 37%. Orthodox communions comprise 12% of the world's Christians. Other Christian groups make up the remainder. By 2050, the Christian population is expected to exceed 3 billion. According to a 2012 Pew Research Center survey, Christianity will remain the world's largest religion in 2050, if current trends continue. In recent history, Christians have experienced persecution of varying severity, especially in the Middle East, North Africa, East Asia, and South Asia. The Greek word Christianos, meaning follower of Christ, comes from Christos, meaning anointed one, with an adjectival ending borrowed from Latin to denote adhering to, or even belonging to, as in slave ownership. In the Greek Septuagint, Christos was used to translate the Hebrew Messiah, Messiah, meaning one who is anointed. In other European languages, Equivalent words to Christian are likewise derived from the Greek, such as Krakopyritien in French and Cristiano in Spanish. The abbreviations Sien and Stien and similarly formed other parts of speech have been used since at least the 17th century. Oxford English Dictionary shows a 1634 use of Stianity and Sien is seen in a 1634A Euro 38 diary. The word Christmas uses a similar contraction. The first recorded use of the term or its cognates in other languages is in the New Testament, in Acts 11 after Barnabas brought Saul Paul to Antioch where they taught the disciples for about a year. The text says that the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch Acts 11:26. The second mention of the term follows in Acts 26, where Herod Agrippa II replied to Paul the Apostle, Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. Acts 26, 28. The third and final New Testament reference to the term is in 1 Peter 4, which exhorts believers, Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. 1 Peter 4 colon 16. Kenneth Samuel Woost holds that all three original New Testament verses usages reflect a derisive element in the term Christian to refer to followers of Christ who did not acknowledge the Emperor of Rome. The city of Antioch, where someone gave them the name Christians, had a reputation for coming up with such nicknames. However Peter's apparent endorsement of the term led to its being preferred over Nazarenes and the term Christianoi from 1 Peter becomes the standard term in the early church fathers from Ignatius and Polycarp onwards. The earliest occurrences of the term in non-Christian literature include Josephus, referring to the tribe of Christians, so named from him, Pliny the Younger in correspondence with Trajan, and Tacitus, writing near the end of the first century. In the annals he relates that by vulgar appellation they were commonly called Christians and identifies Christians as Nero's scapegoats for the great fire of Rome. Another term for Christians which appears in the New Testament is Nazarenes. Jesus is named as a Nazarene in Matthew 2.23, while Paul is said to be Nazarene in Acts 24.5. The latter verse makes it clear that Nazarene also referred to the name of a sect or heresy, 
as well as the town called Nazareth. The term Nazarene was also used by the Jewish lawyer Tertullus against Martian 4 8, which records that the Jews call us Nazarenes. While around 331 AD, Eusebius records that Christ was called a Nazarene from the name Nazareth, and that in earlier centuries Christians were once called Nazarenes. The Hebrew equivalent of Nazarenes, Nazrim, occurs in the Babylonian Talmud, and is still the modern Israeli Hebrew term for Christian. A wide range of beliefs and practices are found across the world among those who call themselves Christian. Denominations and sects disagree on a common definition of Christianity. For example, Timothy Beale notes the disparity of beliefs among those who identify as Christians in the United States as follows although all of them have their historical roots in Christian theology and tradition, and although most would identify themselves as Christian, many would not identify others within the larger category as Christian. Most Baptists and Fundamentalists Christian fundamentalism, for example, would not acknowledge Mormonism or Christian science as Christian. In fact, the nearly 77% of Americans who self-identify as Christian are a diverse pluribus of Christianities that are far from any collective unity. Linda Woodhead attempts to provide a common belief thread for Christians by noting that whatever else they might disagree about, Christians are at least united in believing that Jesus has a unique significance. Michael Martin evaluated three historical Christian creeds the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed and the Athanasian Creed to establish a set of basic Christian assumptions which include belief in the ism, the historicity of Jesus, the incarnation, salvation through faith in Jesus, and Jesus as an ethical role model. The identification of Jesus as the Messiah is not accepted by Judaism. The term for a Christian in Hebrew is Nazri Nazarene, a Talmudic term originally derived from the fact that Jesus came from the Galilean village of Nazareth, today in northern Israel. Adherents of Messianic Judaism are referred to in modern Hebrew as Yehudim Meshahi'i Messianic Jews. In Arabic speaking cultures, two words are commonly used for Christians Nazrani, plural Nazareth is generally understood to be derived from Nazarenes, believers of Jesus of Nazareth through Syriac Aramaic. Masahi means followers of the Messiah. Where there is a distinction, Nazrani refers to people from a Christian culture and Masahi is used by Christians themselves for those with a religious faith in Jesus. In some countries Nazrani tends to be used generically for non-Muslim Western foreigners. Another Arabic word sometimes used for Christians, particularly in a political context, is a superscript one cent alibi crusader from a superscript one pound alib cross, which refers to crusaders and may have negative connotations. However, Salabi is a modern term, historically, Muslim writers described European Christian crusaders as al faranje or al franje and Firangiya in Arabic. This word comes from the name of the Franks and can be seen in the Arab history text al kamil fi al tariq by Ali ibn al athir The most common Persian word is Masahi, from Arabic. Other words are Nazrana, from Syriac for Nazarene, and Tarsa, from Middle Persian word Tarsag, also meaning Christian, derived from Tars, meaning fear, respect. An old Kurdish word for Christian frequently in usage was fell coming from the root word meaning to be saved or attain salvation. The Syriac term Nazrani Nazarene has also been attached to the St. Thomas Christians of Kerala, India. In the Indian subcontinent, Christians call themselves Isa Hindi, Urdu, and are also known by this term to adherents of other religions. This is related to the name they call Jesus, Isa Masi and literally means the followers of Isa. In the past, the Malays used to call Christians in Malay language by the Portuguese loanword Sarani from Arabic Nazrani, but the term now refers to the modern Christian Creoles of Malaysia. In the Indonesian language, the term Nazrani is also used alongside Christian. The Chinese word is Jijitu, literally Christ follower. The name Christ was originally phonetically written in Chinese as, which was later abbreviated as. Ki Tuk in the southern Hakka dialect, the two characters are pronounced Jiju in Mandarin Chinese. In Vietnam, the same two characters read Ko Dok, and a follower of Christianity is a Tin Du Ko Dok Jiao. In Japan, the term Kirishitan written in Edo period documents, and in modern Japanese histories as from Portuguese Cristado, 
referred to Roman Catholics in the 16th and 17th centuries before the religion was banned by the Tokugawa shogunate. Today, Christians are referred to in standard Japanese as Kirisudokia. To or the English-derived term Kuri such in dot Korean still uses RR, Gidakyodo for Christian, though the Portuguese loanword RR, Jirizudo now replaced the old Sino-Korean RR, Gidak, which refers to Christ himself. In Thailand, the most common terms are RTGS, Konkret or RTGS, Chaukrit which literally means Christ person or people or Jesus person or people. The Thai word RTGS, Krit is derived from Christ. In the Philippines, the most common terms are Cristiano for Christian and Cristianismon for Christianity in most Philippine languages, both derives from Spanish Cristiano and Christianismo also used in Chavacano due to the country's rich history of early Christianity during the Spanish colonial era. Some Protestants in the Philippines uses the term Cristiano before the term born again became popular to differentiate themselves from Catholics Catolico. The region of modern Eastern Europe and Central Eurasia Russia, Ukraine, and other countries of the former Soviet bloc has a long history of Christianity and Christian communities on its lands. In ancient times, in the first centuries after the birth of Christ, when this region was called Scythia, the geographical area of Scythians Christians already lived there. Later the region saw the first states to adopt Christianity officially initially Armenia 301 AD and Georgia 337 AD, later Bulgaria c 864 and the Great Russian Principality Russian, DNFNND degree D34 D, Velikoyniagistvo Ruskoy Orki Ivan Rus c 988 AD. In some areas, people came to denote themselves as Christians Russian and as Russians. In time the Russian term Krestiani acquired the meaning peasants of Christian faith and later peasants the main part of the population of the region, while the term Russian, Christiani retained its religious meaning and the term Russian, Ruskai began to mean representatives of the heterogeneous Russian nation formed on the basis of common Christian faith and language, which strongly influenced the history and development of the region. In the region the term Pravoslav faith Russian, Pravoslav Najavera, Orthodox faith, or Russian faith Russian, Ruskayavera from earliest times became almost as known as the original Christian faith Russian, D superscript 2 D and Euro D degree Christian Skaja, Krest Janskaja. Also in some contexts the term Cossack Russian, Kozak, Kazakh was used to denote free Christians of steppe origin and Russian language. As of the early 21st century, Christianity has approximately 2.6 billion adherents. The faith represents about a third of the world's population and is the largest religion in the world. Christians have composed about 33% of the world's population for around 100 years. The largest Christian denomination is the Roman Catholic Church, with 1.3 billion adherents, representing half of all Christians. Christianity remains the dominant religion in the Western world, where 70% are Christians. According to a 2012 Pew Research Center survey, if current trends continue, Christianity will remain the world's largest religion by 2050. By 2050, the Christian population is expected to exceed 3 billion. While Muslims have an average of 3.1 children per woman a euro the highest rate of all religious groups Christians are second, with 2.7 children per woman. High birth rates and conversion were cited as the reason for Christian population growth. A 2015 study found that approximately 10.2 million Muslims converted to Christianity. Christianity is growing in Africa, Asia, the Muslim world, and Oceania.